So I've got a pretty neat product to show you all today. I wish I'd known about this years ago, and I just recently discovered it, and it's just a fuel transfer pump. As simple as it is, I wanted to go ahead and try one, and it worked out successfully. So I've got a new one right here, and I'm gonna be labeling this one for diesel, and I've got another one for gas. So I don't care if you've only got one of these, or you've got a bunch, or you're trying to fill up a garden tractor, or a full-size tractor, or just a little lawnmower. Uh, this little $30 gadget right here is going to definitely save you some uh, some frustration So as you can see I've definitely got quite a few gallons of gas to fill up So let's take a look at how that's going to work So there are quite a few of these products on Amazon and I searched very diligently looking at all the different options reading quite a few reviews And I think you can be pleased with this one. Like I said, I uh, bought one tried it out and at first I was going to try to use one for both gas and diesel and just clean it out. And I think it's total $35 for that price. I decided to go ahead and get a second uh, unit. One of the big determining factors for me is I did not want to run D cell batteries. This one runs off of double A's. I'll put a link in the description and uh, a comment about the double A batteries. If you're not using on a loop, low self discharge batteries, you definitely want to take a look at the link I've provided for that as well. Uh, these are the only batteries to get. They're kind of expensive at $2 a cell, but they maintain their charge. They don't leak. And most importantly, uh, they're rechargeable. They are nickel metal hydrates, uh, but they, um, they definitely keep their charge in devices that are not used on a regular basis. So I'm going to run this with the AA batteries. And another interesting thing about this particular fuel pump is that it does have the clip that clips onto your gas can or tank or whatever it is that you're filling up. And some of the ones on Amazon did not have this little clip. So don't be cheap on this particular aspect because you don't want this thing flipping off. Another thing that this particular unit has is it has an automatic shut off right there and that allows it to shut off once the gas fills up. Still want to obviously stand next to it just like you would at a regular gas station. Uh, now, another thing that is problematic about this project is that new gas cans have, and yellow is for diesel, have an anti-siphon igniting filter. It looks like a filter. You would think it's a filter down in there. Now, I saw several guides on how to get this out of there. I tried a pair of pliers and could not get it out. The simplest way to get that thing out of there is to pop it with a handle. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I removed one out of a gas can recently, and this is a fairly new purchase on a... Uh, diesel can and the problem with this is twofold one the spouts that they come with thanks to federal regulation are impossible to uh, manage so I bought this spout thinking that it would work but the gasket would not fit no matter how hard I tried to find the right gasket this which is what led me to looking for a pump of some sort but what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna take this piece of PVC and uh, anything you've got, broom handle or whatever. And basically, I'm just gonna pop that through right there. And that was it. I mean, there is a whole video showing multiple people taking a pair of pliers and trying to pull that thing out. But it's got a couple of clips on the side that make it almost impossible to get out of there like that. Now, now that it's inside the tank, I'll get it out after this tank is empty and I'll just put a pair of pliers in there and pull that out and let it just fall out. But now I can use my siphon, and uh, this is so easy, it's ridiculous right here. So what I'm going to do is put this into uh, the tank. This is one of the smallest tractors yet, it's still up very high. So I'm trying to get the diesel can up to here. You know, it might have been easier when I was 20 or something like that, but this does this not get easy to fill up on a regular basis. And it's got a nice big opening, I don't think you can see that on the video so well, but uh, I mean that's the gas cap right there, and you'd think you could hit this without spilling diesel all over the place. And I tried different funnels and contraptions, and I mean, it, it just was not well suited for filling up. So this is pretty important, and when I found this, I just couldn't believe it. So I'm going to take this little clip right here, and I'm going to hook it on. So it's not going to come off by accident. And uh, it, there is an instruction not to run dry, but I'm going to put that down inside the tank right there. So fortunately, we're up high right here. And I just turn it on and there we go. It's flowing. 
I think some of the diesel alternatives may have pumped gas quicker, but this is not something I wanted to rush anyway. So it's flowing nice. This tank is down to only about right here. So we're pumping almost all the way down to the bottom of the tank anyway. And I probably could have hoisted it up, but the problem is because of this diesel and, and the other gas cans was just leaking all over the place. And this was brand new when I first attached it. I don't know, it's almost impossible to find a spout for modern day cans. And then even on the older cans, it doesn't work well. So it's just about out on this can here. I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit and let it run a little more. Now I'm not gonna be able to show you the auto shut off on this particular can, but it has worked successfully on weed eaters and small mowers and bigger mowers. It just shuts off perfectly. Okay, that's pretty much it right there. Now I guess one of the things I was hesitant about initially was that it would drip gas or dieseling all over the place, but it has been surprisingly clean so that when I uh, let it flow out of both the pump head and the spigot on the end, it's been fairly easy to use. And there it is. I mean, almost no drip. I would drip a whole lot more trying to fill it up on my own. So that's pretty much it. That was very, very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and label this one diesel and be very careful not to mix the two. Put that up and get ready to use it for the next time. Hope this helps and uh, be careful, be safe.